Hey, what's up everyone, Taji here. So in today's basic one-on-one -on -one guide, we're gonna talk about support targeting. If you're not quite sure what I'm talking about, I'm going to explain it like this. So let's go back. Let's, so, all right, perfect. So what's gonna happen, so I'm gonna put my series, right? I'm gonna put my series targeting this support. Now, what I'm trying to demonstrate is, what do you think is gonna happen after this unit dies? Who do you think my series is going to support? Now, some of you might know the answer, uh, but I imagine that most of you don't know. So this is something that's very important in Arena to keep in mind. Who is your support going to support after your initial support target is dead? Now, I'm going to show it, but first I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. After this unit dies, the person that I support is whoever moves immediately after them. So in this case, number five. So after number four is dead, number five will be the one that I support. And then if number five dies, then number six, and then seven, etc. That is how this works. So this is a very important tactic to keep in mind in Arena because it often happens that the unit that you were supporting dies, and then your support is left wasting support tiles because they're hitting someone else. It's just, it's not as efficient, you know? So keep that in mind when you're setting up formations. Now you see that they died. So you should see that my series is going to support the goblin. So very important, very easy to keep in mind when you are setting up your arenas. But I just thought maybe you guys would like to know this. Either way, that is the end of this video. Hopefully you found this information to be useful. If you did, feel free to like. If you know anyone that would like to see this kind of information, feel free to share it to them. Either way, guys, I'm out. Have a nice day.